Many have tried, most have failed. But every so often, there's an attempt that doesn't offend our ears. Ah, a miracle! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who can nail the English accent. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've gathered the best and most convincing English accents in film and TV, all fabulously feigned by American and Canadian actors. Potatoes! Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew! Number 10, Mike Myers, The Austin Powers Franchise We kick things off with a caricature of the British super spy genre, but a comic accent that actually holds up most of the time. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! Yes, Mike Myers' Austin Powers inflection is OTT, but that's all part of the charm. Powers' well-rounded mutterings on all things shagadelic skirt the Queen's English stereotype, but blend it with a roughness to make it seem quite genuine. But now I can see your nuts! I thank you. The jury's still out on fat bastard Scottish snarl. Get in my belly! But Austin's intonation is pretty groovy, baby. Oh, behave! <laughs> yeah! Number 9, Angelina Jolie, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. A film which forced accent changes throughout the cast, the first Tomb Raider sees Scott actor Ian Glenn switch to English and the Englishman Daniel Craig adopt American. You know, I think it's really cool that you still have a day job. Even though it's obviously just for show. But Angelina Jolie takes the title role, masking her US tones with Lara Croft's clipped and quintessential cadence. Yes, well, I've always found your ignorance quite amusing. Powell, however, is not ignorant. No? No. He's a liar. Jolie doesn't have a pitch perfect history with accents, but this one's on the right side of believable. Bringing a high class sound to a high octane role, Jolie's Lara owns every scene she's in. This is a disaster. Was it programmed to stop before it took my head off? Number 8, Johnny Depp, Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. To another actor who's tackled an English accent on multiple occasions, with varying success. Stop blowing holes in my ship! Jack Sparrow's dagger drawl is instantly recognisable, but Johnny's Sweeney Todd trod closer to Cockney, with some listeners comparing both voices to Rolling Stone's rocker Keith Richards. At last! My arm is complete again. Ultimately, Depp's demon barber boasts a unique snarl with a blend of British influences. Of course, Johnny spends most of this movie mid-song, so consistency is key, and he doesn't disappoint. And I can guarantee to give you without a penny's charge the closest shave you will ever know. Number seven, Maggie Gyllenhaal, the Honourable Woman. Acceptable accents are a shared trait for the Gyllenhaals, with Jake pulling off a passable effort for the otherwise pretty pants Prince of Persia movie. All these foreign dignitaries, I'm guessing you know a few. But Maggie deserves most credit for her role in the 2014 BBC series The Honourable Woman. Hello, <laughs> what a day. I can't tell you how heavy that robe is. In the show, Maggie plays Nessa Stein, a high-ranking businesswoman who becomes the Baroness of Tilbury. And given that most of her scenes are stacked with emotional intensity, she carries her character's voice with conviction. It's one of many reasons she bagged a Golden Globe for the role. I was so happy this morning. Didn't even make the day. Number 6, Kevin Klein, As You Like It. Kenneth Branagh's contemporary adaptation of this Shakespeare comedy suffered some scathing reviews, but Kevin Klein's performance proved a definite highlight. I can suck melancholy out of a song as a weasel sucks eggs. Starring as Jacques, the Missouri-born actor won a Screen Actors Guild Award for his work, thanks in large part to the effectiveness of his accent. When I did hear the motley fool thus moral on the time, my... Lungs began to crow like Chanticleer. There's probably no truer test of an actor's English intonation than the Bard's Elizabethan best, and it's a test that Klein clearly conquers. And that's despite the original play being set in Europe and Branagh relocating the action to Japan, for some reason. To your pleasures, I am for other than for dancing measures. Number five, Robert Downey Jr., Sherlock Holmes. There aren't many more iconic or intrinsically English characters than Sherlock Holmes, so many raised an eyebrow when Guy Ritchie cast Hollywood hotshot Robert Downey Jr. as the super sleuth in 2009. <laughs> Madam, I need you to remain calm, and trust me, I'm a professional. Sure, Jude Law brings enough Englishness for two, 
But could Robert Downey Jr. really convince in the lead role? Yeah, he could. Downey Jr.'s Sherlock taps into Holmes' eccentricities with the wizened tones of someone always with the answers on the tip of their tongue. 8.30, the Royale. Wear a jacket. You wear a jacket. And any accent that holds up against Mark Strong's booming vocals is a winner in our eyes. I warn you, Holmes, to accept that this was beyond your control, beyond what your rational mind could comprehend. What a busy afterlife you're having. Number four, Michael Keane, Christopher Guest and Harry Shearer. This is Spinal Tap. In the mid-80s, David St. Hubbins, Nigel Tufnell and Derek Smalls were better known as one of the most famous British rock bands on the planet, Spinal Tap. However, not only was the group set up to parody heavy metal music, but its three main members weren't even British. It's a bit of a departure from the kind of thing you normally play. Yeah, well, it's part of a, uh, a trilogy, really, a musical trilogy that I'm doing in D minor. US comedians Michael McKean, Christopher Guest and Harry Shearer all pulled the wool over everyone's ears with their humble home county's Essex-esque approach, faking their accents for the entire mockumentary. It's only rock and roll, but we liked it. Thank you, thank you very much. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Number 3, Gwyneth Paltrow, Shakespeare in Love. An actress whose early career is peppered with English roles, Gwyneth Paltrow plays the English rose better than most despite being born in LA. The actress scored international fame and an Oscar when she starred as Viola in Shakespeare in Love. This is not life, Will. It is a stolen season. Looking and sounding far from out of place in Merry Tudor, England, her accent's all the more effective because Paltrow doesn't waver during high-tension moments. I have spoken with your father. So, my lord. <laughs> I speak with him every day. A romantic comedy period drama with an American taking the lead, this film might have been a laughing stock. Instead, it was the toast of critics everywhere. <gasps> oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath. Number two, Rene Zellweger, the Bridget Jones franchise. To another icon of Englishness, but another brought to the big screen by an American actress. Oh, holy Jesus. Rene Zellweger puts in a career-defining turn as Bridget Jones, whose eponymous diary fuels one of the UK's most popular rom-coms. Bridget Jones, wanton sex goddess with a very bad man between her thighs. Mum. Hi. Zellweger was taught her accents by the same voice coach as Paltrow had worked with for Viola, Barbara Berkeley, and Bridget's voice now seems as much a part of her character as big pants and embarrassing fancy dress. A playful, prim and proper tone, it certainly catches the attentions of Messrs Cleaver and Darcy. Definitely an occasion for genuinely tiny knickers. Number 1. Meryl Streep, The Iron Lady It's one thing to tackle the vocal nuances of a fictional character, quite another to recreate the pitch and range of a figure from history. One must be brave if one is to take the wheel. Meryl Streep stepped into Margaret Thatcher's shoes for the Iron Lady in 2011, receiving widespread acclaim for her portrayal of the controversial PM. I will not negotiate with criminals or thugs. The Falkland Islands belong to Britain, and I want them back. And Streep's award-winning performance includes some spot-on voice work. The celebrated US actress plays on Thatcher's polished tones as if they were her own, commanding authority whenever she speaks. It's inflection perfection on a prime ministerial level. If you take the tough decisions, yes, people will hate you today, but they'll thank you for generations. Or forget you entirely. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.